Hi, everybody. Um, welcome, sixth graders, to our first um, ELA unit of study, How Do I Tell My Story? So stories are kind of a funny thing. We all have them inside of us. But as um, the great American writer, poet, civil rights activist Maya Angelou said, there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. This pain, this agony of having a story to tell and having no way to tell it or no one to tell it to can really be quite a burden um, to carry, to bear. And so we're going to explore that idea a little bit here at the beginning of sixth grade. So first of all, um, this is a quick little definition here, because um, I'm going to use um, a word interchangeably with story. So another word for story is narrative. So anything you could think of as a story, you could also think of as a narrative. So we're going to use those words as synonyms. Um, so when you hear me say narrative, I mean story. And when I say the word story, I mean narrative. They're synonyms. So um, what we're going to be doing in this unit is we're going to be reading and writing personal narratives. So what's a personal narrative? So a personal narrative is a story that tells us about an experience from the author's own life, usually told in first person point of view. So let's look at an example of that in case that's a little unclear. So first of all, it's a story. Um, as we have here, we have this, um, this book. It's a very short book um, by Gary Paulson, the same um, author who wrote Hatchet. Um, the book is called My Life in Dog Years. Um, so this personal narrative um, by Gary Paulson tells about an experience from his life. Um, so this is not made up. Um, he may have added details here or there to make the story interesting, but the story um, comes from his own life and his own experience with the dogs that he's had during the course of his life. And finally, it's told in the first person point of view. The narrator is telling um, his or her own story. And you can see here in this little clip from uh, My Life in Dog Years, um, notice that the author uses the word I, or words, I, my, me, because the author is talking about himself. This is first person. Um, when we talk about first person point of view, and I think everything we're going to read is first person, and what we're going to write is going to be first person, notice that use. So he says, I decided to give the beast under the stairs half a burger. I opened the sack, unwrapped the tinfoil and threw half the sandwich under the steps, then jumped down and ran for the end of the alley. I was just getting my stride, legs and arms pumping, pulling air with a heaving chest when I rounded the corner and ran smack into the latest group of boys who were terrorizing me. Notice that he's telling his story using the words I, my, and me. And that's what we'll be doing as well. So we're going to read short stories. We're going to read poems. We're going to read speeches, although really it's just one speech, I think. Um, we're going to look at self-portraits. And then we're going to write our own personal narratives and make our own self-portraits. So during this unit, we're going to hear from many different voices. And we're going to hear many of their own stories. But there's one more voice. Um, and the people you see here pictured are the people that will, will hear from their voices. But there's one voice that's not here in the slide. And that's you. Um, we want to hear um, your story as well because it's important, as Maya Angelou suggested, to to tell those stories, to share those stories, um, because holding those stories really can be a lot to bear, can be a lot to hold. So while that may be intimidating to you, um, I want you to keep in mind um, what the author Patrick Rothfuss said. He said that everyone tells a story about themselves inside their own head, always, all the time. That story makes you what you are. We build ourselves out of that story. I think that is a terrifically true quote, that we are always talking about ourselves to ourselves in our own heads and telling the story of what happened or what's going to happen or what is happening. And that story is how we make ourselves. So I think it's so important to tell our stories um, and we'll begin that work by hearing other people's stories. So I look forward to this unit with you um, and I look forward very much um, to um, seeing your the pictures you create of yourself and hearing your own stories.